Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Samantha. So for today's video, I filmed this 0 to 100 catfish insane transformation glam. And I love watching these type of videos where it's like a really dramatic full beat face. Sorry that it's not a chit chat get ready with me just because my neighbor is actually doing works on his house. So there's drilling noises and hammering noises. But I hope you guys enjoy it anyway. And let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so obviously I'm going to start with a bare face, sorry to scare you with my zombie self. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what is that? And my hair was looking crazy and disgusting, looking like a bird nest, so I've just put it up into a sorry excuse for a bun. Next I'm going to go in with one of my favourite moisturisers, this is the Pixi Rose Ceramide Cream and I don't even know what's going on with my camera guys, I need to play around with the settings because it's just not looking good, I don't even know how to work this camera but hopefully I sort it out soon. Next I'm going to go in with one of my favourite concealers, this is the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium and I'm just going to use this to prime my lids, I love it because it's super full coverage, super matte and it's just an amazing base for eyeshadow. Next I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder and I'm not really a pressed powder type of girl but this is slowly changing my mind, I actually really really like this. This is one of them powders that makes your skin look super flawless and I just love to just keep this in my bag for touch ups because my skin is super oily. Next I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Beige and Gel and I love using this as a transition shade. I'm so upset because it's a bit too light to use as an actual bronzer. So I love to use a transition shade because it is such a pretty colour. And clearly here I'm enjoying myself, I'm vibing to this song. I'm actually so happy, I've been really enjoying doing my makeup lately and I think it's because I've been so open with my skin now and I just feel like I've found a passion in makeup again. And the palette that we're going to use to achieve this beautiful smoky dramatic eye is this palette from e.l.f. Cosmetics in the shade Truffles. So first I'm just going to take this medium brown shade and just apply that into my crease. And I'm not even going to lie, e.l.f. really shocked me with this palette. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. They blend so well, they're super pigmented and the palette is only £3. Next I'm going to go in with this Richer Chocolate Brown and just apply this all over my lid. And this is going to be a base for the black shade. And I just like to use a flat but fluffy brush and just go in circular motions. And then once I've built that up, I'm going to go in with this beautiful black shade and just pat that all over my lid. To make sure that all the shades are blended properly together, I like to go in with the same brush that I used for the transition shade and just smoke out any harsh lines. And then I'm going to go in with some lashes. These are my lashes, the Vera Cosmetics in my most dramatic style, Rosalie. And I'm just going to be cheeky and plug myself. You can buy these lashes at averacosmetics.com. I'll leave the link below in the description. Next, I'm going to go in with one of my favourite primers. This is the 4th Ray Beauty Rose Face Milk. And I love how hydrating this is. And it just makes my foundation go on super smooth and flawless. And then I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Beauty... I don't even know what happened there. I don't even know why I did that. Um, but I found it too funny to just cut it out. So I'm just going to leave it in there. So it's the Kat Von D Beauty True, Por Bleh. True Portrait Foundation in the shade Tan 057. And I don't know why it's looking so yellow. I don't even know why my camera is doing this to me. Why it's playing me. But I swear this does not look like this in person. In person it actually looks really good. But for some reason, it just made me look like a Simpson. I had seen this foundation being used on Instagram for so long and I always wanted to try it. And I managed to finally get my hands on it and I love it so much. It's super full coverage and it looks kind of thick. But I promise you guys, this is such a lightweight foundation. I've actually, like hands down, this is probably the most lightweight full coverage foundation that I've ever, ever used. And it's so lightweight that it actually feels like powder. Like if you've used this, then you know what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going to go in with the Code 8 Beauty Seamless Cover Concealer. And guys, I'm being so honest with you. This brand is amazing. They are so underrated. If you guys have not tried their products, then you guys really, really need to. I recently discovered them and I swear to you, their products do not disappoint. And I know that this is super, super light, but I did not call this a full glam makeup transformation for no reason. 
And then to bring back some colour and dimension to my face, because my face is looking hella flat right now, I'm just going to go in with the Sleek Makeup Life Proof Concealer in the shade Hot Mocha. And then I just apply that to the places where I want to bronze and contour. And then I like to take a small dense kabuki brush and pat that into my skin and blend it out. I prefer to pat it just because I feel like my pigmentation sometimes shows through if I use circular motions. So especially on my cheeks where I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, I do like to go in with a patting motion. And then I just use a smaller, more defined brush to blend out my nose contour. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm not the best at nose contour. I'm practicing, but it's not great. And then with another small dense brush, I like to pat in my concealer and I find when I use a brush to blend out my concealer, the coverage is a lot better compared to when I use a beauty sponge. Next I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder in the shade Banana and I love how flawless this makes my under eyes look. And you can really pack this on and it doesn't look cakey at all. After that I'm going to go in with my favourite bronzer of all time, this is the Revolution Mega Bronzer in 02 Warm. And I've actually stopped reaching for this because I use the Beauty Bay one a lot more but I started using it again and guys look how amazing this is for my skin tone I just love how it blends I love the shade of it and it's just amazing and I just felt because this look is so dramatic it wouldn't be right if I didn't contour my nose so I tried okay like yeah 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 Next I'm going to go in with this blush from Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine and I just find a blush really brings a look like this together. I just love to apply it to the apples of my cheeks and drag it upwards and I feel like it just really gives that like soft glam vibe. Last but not least I'm going to go in with the Sleek Makeup Lip Liner in the shade No Words and just overline my lips since this is a dramatic transformation that we're trying to achieve and the other day my boyfriend asked me why do you overline your lips your lips are already big bitch because i want to the fuck and then i'm gonna go in with this pinky nude from colourpop cosmetics and this is the luxe velvet liquid lipstick in the shade casual dress look how gorgeous this shade is and just look how smooth my lips look with this on i was gonna leave it as a matte lip but I just couldn't help myself and I just added some gloss. So I just went in with one of my favourite lip glosses. This is from Kiko Milano, the 3D Hydro Lip Gloss in the shade 02. And it's just a beautiful pinky nude. And then to sort out this terrible excuse for hair that I have on my head, I'm just going to put it in a sleek bun. And there we go, that is the finished look. We went from a zero to 100 real quick. I am so happy with this look, guys. I just love like a full, full, full beat face, full glam. I love watching these type of videos where it's like a full coverage, like a proper dramatic type of glam. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also please comment below what videos you'd like to see next on this channel. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in my next video.